Hello, today we're quickly gonna talk about getting that nice tailored look on our jacket. So if you can see myself now, this fit here, this chiseled tailored look, this is what we're trying to achieve. It looks sharp, it looks nice. My jacket's done up, and if you're wearing a two piece, then most people wanna wear their jacket up, done up. You're wearing a three piece, a lot of people wanna show off that waistcoat, which I completely understand, it looks great. However, if you notice here, this is quite boxy compared to how mine looks. So this jacket technically is the right size in terms of fits nicely on the shoulders and it does up. Now when it's done up, lovely, nice, chiselled, tailored fit here. The trouble is, once it's undone and once you've been moving around and it's settled, it maybe loses a bit of its shape. So if you want to achieve that nice look, what we say in the shop is actually, do you need to do your jacket up? Because if not, tailoring is always the best way to do this. There are other options which we'll talk about in a minute, but actually, if you went to see the tailor or seamstress and have just a little bit taken in at the back here, all of a sudden we achieve, obviously do a lot much better job, it will be pinned and it will be taken in. You end up with a much more tailored in shape. However, you can't do your jacket up, but what you end up with there is a much nicer, bigger hugging which is what people tend to want when they're coming into the shop at the moment. Let's just say, for example, though, you haven't got time to go and see a seamstress, you're buying off the peg today and you need the suit for tonight or tomorrow, and there's no time for that. Um, there is a bit of a sacrifice with the shoulders, but actually what you can do is drop down a size in the jacket. And the only way you'll know whether this is gonna work is by trying it. So we're gonna drop down a size. So that jacket was a 38 regular, this one's a 36 regular. Now look at this, nice and tailored in here on the, on the waist. The sacrifice is the jacket won't do up. Might feel a bit tight on your shoulders and you'll have to be the judge to see whether you can get away with that or not. But a lot of our guys will go with that option because it means there's no money spent on tailoring, which isn't overly expensive, but a lot of the time it comes down to time um, and you know getting to the seamstress to have that pinned up. The other way to make a, a jacket look a little bit more sharp, which I haven't got today so much, is having a little bit of cuff, especially on a nice white crisp shirt. So just gonna show you that now, how that'll work on this one. Okay, so another way is to make sure your sleeves are not too long on your jacket. If you have your sleeves up a little bit and a seamstress can take care of this, sometimes it might just be off the uh, peg, it'll just work well for you and the sleeve length is right. But if your sleeves right down your hand, you're never gonna see a little bit of cuff coming through from the shirt. But as you can see, hopefully, by having this nice chiseled in look here, so it fits us really well, we get to see the waistcoat and all the features, get a little bit of, cum bit of cuff coming out, and actually that looks a lot sharper than it did when we started. I hope that helps and see you all soon.